further about locking axis for example when locking x and y axis um, one can measure the window height the windows the distance from the window or or such stuff in the uh, distance from from floor to ceiling and so on for doing that um, we'll have to open a panorama view and click again 3d points then go to front view and then you you have lines with the specific distance between floor um, and and window window and then ceiling then the next tools are the utilities here we have set z uh, for example in this case there is a floor plan at the height of 5.6 meters so if the user wants to set the z, z coordinate to a specific value it should use this option it's useful when working with multiple stories building and there are multiple floor plans and that has to be digitalized at different heights and you can transfer the lines at that specific height in this case again created a couple of lines with the fix z uh, set z option on and all the lines are were now created at this height the next uh, tool in the utilities tab is the 2d option this is useful when working with the native um, tools for example when wanting to create it uh, polylines if this option is not uh, on um, message will appear that yeah we need to input a 2d point so for transferring um, polylines or using other native tools such as uh, arcs circles and so on we would need to um, activate the 2d option and then start creating and as you can see one when this was uh, this option was on we were able to create uh, polylines um, the last one is the xy slash z option which allows the uh, the user to transfer x y coordinates separately of the z coordinate meaning that we will need to pick two points in order to transfer coordinates so uh, the first picked point will transfer the x y coordinates and with the second clicked point uh, we will transfer the z coordinate so um, this will allow us to better and more precisely transfer the information from origins to the cat platform um, in this case i uh, uh, yeah there is a there is there are some stairs that we want to have a, a precise height so what you're doing is yeah clicking on two points on each stair uh, this is useful for specific use cases, can be used for yeah, stairs creation, can be used for curbside digitizing and, and other use cases that uh, might arise. So now after creating all the stairs by clicking two points for, for each point or for each coordinate um, transferred, we will yeah we can go in the front view. And then you can see that yeah, the stairs were created at a different height and the height were taken from the second big point and not from the first because yeah, sometimes it can be that well, we, are, we are clicking at a different height so this allows a more precise um, transfer of the coordinates.